For this video, we will solve for the variable with multiplication and division. So solving for x is sort of like solving a mystery here. Okay, so our question is 4 times x equals 8. So what we want to figure out is what does x equal? So you might know this in your head if you know your multiplication table, but we're still going to do it the hard way. So we know how to do it. Because as the, the problems get harder, you'll have to know how to solve for a variable. So we have 4 times x equals 8. So the way you solve for a variable is you have to get that variable by itself. So that means you have to get rid of anything else that's over here. So since this problem is multiplying, we have to divide by this number to get rid of it. And then we have to do the exact same thing to the other side every time. You have to do the same thing to one side that you do to the other side. So 4 divided by 4 cancels this guy out. It leaves just 1x, but you don't have to put the 1 in front of the x. x equals 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So x equals 2. Okay, and this is pretty close to the same one that we just did, but we'll go ahead and try it again. So 4 times x equals 8. So we're going to get rid of these two, this number, 4 divided by 4, 8 divided by 4. That leaves us with x equals 2. And then we could also look at it and say, okay, does that work? 4 times 2 equals 8. Is that right? Yes, it is. So we know that x is correct. x equals 2. It really loves these uh, 4s and 8s here. Okay. So for this one, it's a little bit different the way we're going to figure it out. So we have x times, well, that's a little bit. So we have x times 4 equals 8. So again, we still need just to get x by itself. So we're going to get rid of this 4 by dividing it by itself. And then it'll be x equals 2. All right, so for this one, 10 divided by 5 equals x. So x equals, for this one, you just have to divide. You don't have to actually do any extra steps to solve for the variable because it's just a problem. So you're figuring out 10 divided by 5 equals 2. All right, again, for this one, 9 divided by 3 equals x. So that means x equals, let's work backwards. What would I multiply 3 by to get to 9? I know that 3 times 3 equals 9, so 9 divided by 3 would equal 3. All right, so this one we do 6 times 2 equals x. And I know that 6 times 2 equals 12, so x equals 12. 7 times 2 equals x. So for this one, let's pretend that we don't know our multiplication tables. So what is another way that I could figure out 7 times 2? Well, 7 times 2 is just 7 plus 7, because there's two of them. And that equals 14. So 7 times 2 equals 14. All right, 9 times x equals 18. So for this one, we have to do it a little bit differently. It adds another step to it. So 9 times x equals 18. So for this one, we need to get x by itself. Again, 
So to do that, we got to get rid of our 9 here, or turn it into 1. So to do that, we're going to divide by 9. And since we do that over here, we need to also do it over here. And x then equals 18 divided by 9 is 2. Nice work. Thank you. Okay. This one, x times 4 equals 8. Let's work it out. So x times 4 equals 8. So we need this x to be by itself, so we're getting rid of our 4. So 4 divided by 4, and if we do that over here, we need to do the same thing over here. So x equals 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So that means x equals 2. And then we could check our work by saying, okay, does 2 times 4 equal 8? Yes, it does. So we know that answer is correct. All right. So this one, 26 divided by 2 equals x. Okay, so I have to do the division for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do 26 divided by 2. So how many times does 2 go into 2? Once, 2 times 1 is 2. Subtract 0. Bring down the 6. How many times does 2 go into 6? 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So our answer is going to be 13. X equals 13. Okay, 16 divided by 8 equals X. So I'm going to use my fact family strategy for this one. What would I multiply 8 by to get to 16? And I know that answer is 2. So 2 times 8 equals 16. So that means 16 divided by 8 equals 2.